Hey third graders, happy Thursday. Here we are at lesson four of our writer's workshop this week. And today we're gonna begin the research part of our writing. Today I wanna teach you that writers do research to look for the answers to their questions. Okay, so it's important that we write down everything important related to that question or topic that we wanna learn. So I'm thinking back to the previous lessons about asking questions, and then our lesson yesterday, which was categorizing, what topic am I really looking at? So I had two questions that started my animal research. Why do turkeys have so many feathers? And I determined uh, that belongs in the category of body parts. And the second question was, what do turkeys eat? That belongs in the category of diet. But I'm gonna pick one of those two categories to start with. And I think body parts seems the most interesting to me so far. So be careful because now we're gonna to need to go and look in epic books to learn about the body parts of a turkey. But sometimes subtopics can have different names. For instance, when we learn about penguins, not only did they say diet, maybe they said meals, hungry, fish, anyone. So we might have to look for some variation in the, the books that we're reading to find our research on that subtopic. Okay, so here is the work for today. So when I go to my Google Slides, I am starting to look for my first topic that I wanna research. I decided to go with my first question, which was about the feathers. So I know that my topic is going to be about the turkey's body parts. Actually, I'm gonna add that in, turkey's body parts. Now, my job is to find some details by going to Epic Books and reading through some of the, the books that I've assigned you there. I need to come up with at least two details on my own but I could also add in a third detail that's optional. So you choose if you want two or three details. So to start my research, I'm gonna click over to Epic. And this is the story that we previewed before, but now I'm actually gonna go into the text and start reading. So I'm gonna start here in the table of contents to see if I can find my subtopic. What are wild turkeys? That's important, but I don't really know if that's gonna tell me about their body parts. Flashy fanned feathers. Oh, that's definitely going to talk about the turkey's body. Their feathers are part of their body. I think I'll start there. So I'm gonna click through to page eight. Aha, here we are. I'm noticing already some of the text features like labels. Here's the turkey's beard telling me about the long legs, the bald head, and the fanned tail. So I'm gonna start reading some of the text. Male wild turkeys have dark, shiny feathers. Their bald heads are blue. Ooh, okay, that word male, that word means the boy turkeys. So that's a great detail I could put into my Google Slides, but I wanna put it in my own words. So I'm gonna read it again, and then try and think of how can I say that without copying the text. Male wild turkeys have dark, shiny feathers. Their bald heads are blue. Okay, so in my own words, I could say, hmm, let me go click over so I can type it. The male turkey, and I'm gonna put boy in parentheses as a bald head and oh I think his bald head was blue let me check again yep a blue bald head and said something about the feathers hmm it's okay if I forget I can go back to the text Dark, shiny feathers. All right. And dark 
and shiny feathers. So I used the words that were in the book from Epic, but I didn't copy it word for word. Mine says, the male boy turkey has a blue bald head and shiny and, and dark and shiny feathers. Excuse me. When I read this, the book, it says male wild turkeys have dark, shiny feathers. Their bald heads are blue. Okay, there's my first detail. Now I'm going to look for detail number two. Looks like the next page has something different. Dark beards stick out from their chests. Their tails are a fan of feathers. Hmm, okay. I think both of those things are important, but like, I want to see what else they talk about with the turkey's body. So I'm going to continue on a little bit. Oh, now it says females are smaller than males. Okay, so female is the girl turkey. They are about 36 inches long. Dark brown feathers cover their bodies. Their tails have a reddish shine. Wow, so this is different than the males. I think it'd be important to talk about the boy turkeys and the girl turkeys. So this is going to be my second detail. Female turkeys are smaller than males. They are about 36 inches, 91 centimeters long. Dark brown feathers cover their bodies. Their tails have a reddish shine. Okay, I'm going to try and put that in my own words. So I want to use the word female turkeys, that's the girl. Have reddish feathers, I remember that part. And it said, oh, I'm sorry, dark brown feathers. Their tails are reddish. So they have dark brown feathers. And reddish tails. Okay, there are my two details. So I went to one text and I found two details, but sometimes you might not. Remember, you don't have to just use one text. You can use two texts or three texts. I have another one here in my collection that I could look in as well. If I go back to the beginning of this story, wild turkeys, here's another source where I can find information for my research. Wild turkeys are large birds. They have bumpy heads and necks. Right there, there's something about their body. So I can use multiple sources of information to complete the slide on my very first topic for our animal research. 